we build the strengths, we supported each to get each and one. So we call in between us um, uh, the tower of Ukrainian power, the central tower of Ukrainian power. So this is about our hotel. And we are delighted uh, to have with us today uh, Artem Prokhodko, the uh, General Director at uh, Intercontinental here in uh, Kiev. Artem, it is uh, great to see you. How are you doing? Hi, Andy. It is a great honor to take part in this interview. Thank you for inviting me and uh, greetings to all the members and everybody who joins us for the interview. Uh, Artem, this is the series of videos about uh, resilience and then um, and I think anyone better than you can tell that the real story is of resilience because you you've been you've seen everything that started from uh, February 24th and uh, the Intercontinental continued to serve its, its clients, its customers, its guests without stopping for a single day. I mean, uh, tell us the story. I mean, how, how do you do it? And, you know, where, where, where does this resilience come from? Well, I tried to analyze it many times. Um... I would say the simple answer to is one of a sudden we felt united. This power of unity, which we felt on the same day, 24th, basically in the morning, it was one of a kind. Uh, we stayed focused. This was the main driver for us to, to, to build resilience. Uh, over the coming days, we we celebrated small successes when we found food for our guests, when we found food for our employees, when we could help our employees who were in trouble in the regions of Irpin, Bucha. And yeah, the true story behind, we got a big, big family united at the property in a safe place. So building a safe environment for your team, this was the key because uh, they felt taken care of. And this immediately reflected to our guests, because many members of uh, our team, especially young ones, came day by day asking me, Artyom, what's going to happen? And I had no answer. I had absolutely no answer. And I told it honestly. Honest communication, as far as you can, uh, gives you the proper trust in you as a leader. And people follow you. People follow you and then, yeah, the main task was to distract them from all the Telegram channels which came up one of a sudden because people got really depressed. So we focused on small tasks, small successes, day-by-day -day operations. And yeah, we've created a very nice space for our people except the shelter. The shelter was prepared, we were safe there. But more important was the kids' playing room where the kids could... Uh, relax or enjoy themselves it was a, a gentleman's playing room with ping pong with some fitness everything hidden underneath the earth so it was really really safe safety was key and the first important but to maintain the psychological uh support and the psychological level uh was really important and it, it was done by sports uh i've invited uh I think it was the second or the third week I even invited, I made it to bring my own barber into the hotel to give a shave and a haircut for all the employees and further on to the guests. The same we made for the ladies. Yes, there was a styling session with many gear, pedicure and stylists for the hair. Mm, yeah, so these were the small positive things. The challenging things, we know everyone. Huh? We were, everyone was scared. We didn't really knew what to do. But we learned it day by day and built the resilience. I think, yeah, it's phenomenal. I think, you know, the stories and uh, I think, you know, the intercontinental stories is, is truly phenomenal. I think, you know, all over the world, people will be studying this learning uh, because, you know, I remember on the 24th as, uh, of February 2022, you know, as people saying the Russians are coming and uh, you, you continue to serve it, to serve as the guests and, you know, your team. Um, I think that that is, you know, really phenomenal. And I think for us and uh, for our members of the AmCham, you know, it's having this location in Kiev, which, you know, we feel at home at, we feel safe for our events. So we're very grateful for, for, for you. I mean, if there was something that surprised you most during this resilience, what, what, what was it? 
the strengths of our people, uh, the ability to build these enormous strengths over time. Because when some days passed and everyone got exhausted because we slept for a few hours only, huh? we were a very small team of uh, less than 50 people having usually way, way more on duty. We built the strengths, we supported each, each and one. So we call in between us um, uh, the tower of Ukrainian power, the central tower of Ukrainian power. So this is about our hotel. Uh, no, it's the strengths. It's the people who are dedicated to the processes, dedicated to the guests, and dedicated to our mission. And our mission was to support the people who were at that time in Kiev, many of them unexpectedly caught in this situation. So we supported each and one of them. And this was our mission in, in support to, to conquer this, this challenge and to overcome this, this huge crisis. Fantastic. That's phenomenal. And then finally, I mean, if there's one key learning, you know, if there's one key learning, what you've seen over now is the third year um, to share amongst global uh, sort of business community, global uh, leaders, you know, what, what would that be? I would say definitely care for your people, care about your people, and be a strong leader. Uh, everyone is looking at you. You have to be to lead by example. It's it's easy said and very difficult to do. But this is the key solution to come through this war, to come through this aggression of our unfortunate neighbors. Well, yeah, thank you, uh, Artem. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Artem Prokotko, the general manager at uh, the brilliant Intercontinental Hotel here in uh, Kiev. Thank you for all your support and thank you for your support to the, uh, the AmCham and uh, especially your work on the committees. Uh, we're very grateful uh, to that. And thank you for your um, leadership. And I think this is a real example of moving from, moving from good to great. Um, and I think these, these moments are are historical and uh, I think it's you know documenting these uh, moments and then I think business schools and business leaders will be uh, learning uh, in decades to come. So ladies and gentlemen, big thank you to Artem Prokotko, uh, General Manager at Intercontinental. Artem, see you at the great hotel very soon. Uh, thank you, all the very best, stay safe. Thank you, Andy, thank you, thank you everyone. Have a great one.